Hi and welcome back for another video. My name is Josh and you're watching the Fractured Rooster Garage. Uh, today we're out of the garage because uh, it's for sale. The house is for sale. In fact, we're under contract and we've got about a month to get out of there. But that's okay. I got well ahead of the game. As you can see behind me, I, uh, I stepped up my storage abilities quite a bit over the last couple months. Uh, most of my shop is in one. Most of the house is in another. Uh, one's miscellaneous and well, I don't even, I can't even tell you what all is in there anymore. We're out here on the 40 acres of land that my family and I bought. And as I came out here to start cleaning it up, cutting down some trees and making, making sense of where we're going to build. And it was, there was a lot of walking back and forth, which is why my son and I frame swapped that ATV in a previous video. Uh, it makes sense now, hopefully, uh, but you can't just have one. So we bought another and another and well, today you're going to see the, the newest upgrade to the, to the property. And uh, thankfully, the local community here allows me to tag it and drive it in town. So uh, it's it's one of the benefits of living in the Midwest. All right, here it is. It's a 2016 Yamaha YXZ 1000R. It's the R model, not the SS. Uh, the SS has the sport shift, the flappy paddles on the steering wheel, uh, which honestly I think would be a lot cooler. But this one is the it's known as the, the stick or the three the three pedal. I don't know that the uh, the SSs have the three the third pedal, an actual clutch pedal. I'm pretty unfamiliar with these machines. I've always wanted one, but never really had a reason to own one. Uh, now I do. 40 acres. Uh, I had my my dad's Jeep listed for sale locally. Uh, it's an amazing Jeep and had a lot of sentimental value actually, but it was overbuilt for the Midwest. Um, it was on like 40s, huge 20 inch travel, Fox shocks, uh, four link front and rear, one ton axles. Uh, it was too much for around here and I didn't want to waste it just driving it you know, to the grocery store and back. So uh, I listed it for sale and a guy offered this up in trade. Uh, dude, I brought it over, unloaded it, I drove it around the neighborhood, and I realized you could upshift it all the way to fifth gear and just lug it down the roads. And Anyway, long story short, I fell in love with it. We, we traded, and here I sit. It's plenty fast, but today we're going to add some more power to it. Now, the only mods of this thing are, I, I put these wheels on here because the factory tires were were pretty bald so i put a set of 30 inch tires on it like 30 by nines on 15 inch bead locks it's got stock exhaust stock suspension stock pretty much everything oh i did take the pre-filter out of the machine uh it's got a two-stage air filter and the first stage is like a, an oily sock and someone had over oiled the thing or just neglected it to death uh it was absolutely caked with dirt and grease to the point to where the machine uh, the side-by-side -side was not wanting to run right so I pulled that out of there and the thing came back to life I would bet the guy wanted to trade this because he thought it, the motor was wore out or it was down on power or something but honestly it was just due to his neglect so now that we've done a quick walk around let's uh let's take it for a drive I bought a draggy I don't know if you guys are familiar with that it's a little magnetic GPS box you attach to anything you want and it gives you performance data for eighth mile, quarter mile, standing mile, zero to 60, 30 to 70. You can set up to basically meter anything that you want. Uh, G-forces for braking, acceleration, turning, it does it does everything. It's pretty awesome. But I bought, I bought the Draggy so we could attach it to this thing and do a, maybe a before and after on, on our performance upgrades, which are, I'll go ahead and fill you in now, an Alba Racing silent but deadly kit. It comes with a, a new silencer tip not the stock exhaust while well, the stock silencer stays it just replaces the exhaust tip with a much bigger one that flows a lot more air uh, supposedly that is worth like 10 horsepower by itself uh, long tube header and then it comes with an intake spacer but all those things together add up to 25 horsepower at the tires and then i went in and added the stage two cams so the cams again add like another 14 horsepower so ideally we're hoping to see 39 horsepower at the tires that seems like a lot considering this machine only makes 115-ish horsepower to begin with. So we're gonna go from 115 to around 150. That seems like a lot, we'll see. I bought the Draggy to, to quantify the data so it's not just me saying, uh, wow, it feels a lot faster. Now we'll know exactly how much faster and if it was all bottom end power or top end power, we'll see. Because we'll have the, the zero to 30, the, the 30 to 60, the 60 to 
90. Yeah, this thing runs at 100 miles an hour. It's supposed to. And with the ECU flash, oh, that's the fourth part of the all the kit. Uh, it's an ECU flash to add more power and or more fuel and more timing uh, to support all the other mods. But in doing that, they remove the rev limiter and in fifth gear, so you can run this thing over 100 miles an hour at that point, and you will supposedly have the power to do it. So. Uh, let's take a drive. I think you're going to see this thing's plenty fast the way it is, but you know, if it's out there, if it's if it's at your fingertips, you just got to buy it. Uh, the Silent But Deadly kit, less than 10% of the price of the machine, and you get to add 30% power to it. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, it did come with a windshield, and it's clear to me that it's going to have to stay on today because it's too windy. It's far too windy uh, to be driving this thing without it, uh, but it installs... Just like that, uh, it is held in place with some simple straps. These are like a hundred bucks and I can tell you from driving it with and without it, uh, this is probably the first upgrade I would do to a side-by-side. -side. Because without it, you're gotta wear goggles or safety glasses or something because man, if you take a rock or a bug at speed, it's no fun. There we go. It's amazing what a little bit of wind deflection will do for you. All right, well, if you're unfamiliar with the Draggy as I was, uh, am, that's what it looks like. It's just a little magnetic box that sticks to anything you want it to. That's where we stuck it. Uh, it's got full satellite signal there, and uh, it's about the flattest piece of metal I can find. It's not, not in the wind. I don't want it to get blown off. Uh, okay, well, let's go make a couple hits and see what our baseline performance looks like, and then we'll come back and start pulling parts off this thing. Some good baseline numbers. Let's head back to the shop and start pulling off some of these piping hot stock pieces and put on some cold hot performance stuff. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. The, we'll see you back at the house. Well, fast forward to the shop. I wish this were my shop. This is a freaking amazing shop. Uh, I pulled this thing into my garage and realized that my little two-car garage just wasn't going to do it. I had just a couple of feet on each side. I'd had minimal lighting at best, and most of my tools are in storage. Uh, so I didn't want to make multiple trips out to my storage unit to grab tool after tool after tool. So I came to my friend Cameron's shop. He owns, uh, well, let's see, Impact Detailing and Coating. Uh, here in the Wichita area, if you need uh, paint correction, PPF in installation, uh, even light mechanical work, he's, he's getting into that as well. And we've already done the big things. Uh, there was a group of people earlier. He had some customers in here. I didn't want to be recording while he had customers in here, but everyone's gone now. Uh, he's inside eating some lunch. So I'll point out what we did swap out. We swapped out the, the silencer cone. Uh, and you can see how much of a difference, how much of a difference that's going to make. That's like a, maybe an inch, inch and an eighth. And it stepped up to probably one and three quarter, one and seven eighths maybe. Uh, that alone is supposed to give a significant, a significant power improvement. And it looks like 
that's not even a straight shot there's a cap on it so that exhaust has to go around that cap back around through the spark arrestor fabric and then out whereas that cone is straight through and it's got uh, it doesn't have a flat cap on the end all the mesh it comes together in like a cone shape so that alone is probably where this a significant amount of power is going to come from that that in the tune are probably going to add it the majority of the power uh, so working our way forward you can see the exhaust manifold there's the new one let me grab the old one as you can see the tubes are significantly larger and more equal length the cylinder three the one on the far right uh, has a much tighter bend you can tell that pipe's probably maybe two three inches longer with the new manifold versus the old one so that's supposed to give you a lot better scavenging and bottom end torque so we did most of the hard work here uh, off camera like i said i've only been here for four hours probably and i've got all this done and we're down to the final part i'm installing the timing chain tensioner and we broke an ear off of it uh, i should have worked it in there's two bolts holding it in and i ran one in too far and cracked it i should have stepped back and forth and and consecutively walked that tensioner in and that, that was my fault uh, but the cams are in the old cams are over here somewhere Yep, they're in the wrapper here. This, the, these are the old cams. I don't, I don't know that there's a significant uh, lift or duration improvement, but it's enough to add 14 horsepower, allegedly. So looking forward to it, but unfortunately, we got to get a new tensioner. So we'll leave this here overnight. Uh, we'll come back probably tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully I can get one overnighted. Hey, it's alive. <laughs> We ended up breaking the automatic cam tensioner, so we bought a, a manual one from Alba, which apparently is the move anyway, uh, especially with the cam. They tend to jump timing, which is scary, so we bought the manually adjusted one, so it'll always hold uh, a preset. And, man, it's getting stinky, but listen to this exhaust note now. Kind of smells like peanuts. <laughs> Carcinogens and peanuts. Cool, now it doesn't sound like a vacuum cleaner anymore. <laughs> it's a little smoky. Well, as luck would have it, uh, the rain moved in as soon as we got done. So uh, we'll have to wait till tomorrow when the sun comes up and uh, we'll run this thing home. We'll do another hit with a draggy tomorrow and we'll see how much performance we picked up. All right, the results are in, and I'm, I gotta say I'm a little impressed. I'm looking at the, the phone data here. So the previous zero to 60 was 8.87 seconds. The new zero to 60 is 7.15 seconds. So a full second and a half faster from zero to 60. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, quarter mile, so our top end performance went from 1692 to 1573. So a quarter, a second and a quarter shaved off the quarter mile time. That's pretty significant. Zero to 30 was 2.7, now it's 2.1. I don't know what percentage that is, but it's pretty freaking, it's, it's pretty telling. Alba says you pick up 29 horsepower, 29 to 35. I don't know what math you wanna do. At any rate, uh, we did prove it is faster. I'm impressed for $1,200. We added some performance to the machine. The sound alone, I think, was worth the money. I'm more than satisfied. Thank you, Alba, for making good parts and uh, having fast shipping and great prices. So uh, I guess we'll see you on the next video. Uh, this next side-by-side -side video, again, is going to be down at the dunes, down at Little Sahara, uh, Wanoka, Oklahoma, um, in a couple of weeks. So if anybody's in that area, holler at me. Maybe we can meet up down there. I don't know. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.